you. White Witcher! When you find my daughter, will you give her this? A rag doll? Uh huh. Time to water the horses.
just destroy it. Just that. Faster. Fuck. Ooh. Oh. <coughs> Got a pass. Crassy, eh? Hey. No pass. <coughs> halt. No passage. Case of the plague surface in the city or something? The plague? Uh, no. We're to not let folk in the city. It's an order, so I don't, unless someone's got a pass. This what you mean? Let me look at that. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. missing a seal, the red one. Impossible. Department of Civil Defense forgot again. They're really off their heads these days. It happens, so be it. You may come through. Come through. Tamara, the Bloody Baron's daughter. Your brother said I'd find her here. Voitex sent you, sir. How else would I know she was here? Wait a moment. I'll fetch her straight away. My father sends you. Yeah, to see if you're still alive and well. I'm Geralt of Rivia. I'm quite alive and extraordinarily well, Geralt of Rivia. Better than I've ever been in this rotten life of mine. And now that you've seen me, I bid you farewell. Wait. We've nothing more to talk about. Got every right to be angry at your father, but he's worried about you. I have a right. Thank you kindly. So good to have the approval of his hired thug. And my father worries only about what to get soused on next. He's no saint, that's clear. 
but he's got the whole province on its feet looking for you. Finding you and your mother seems to me there's nothing more important to him now. I know evil men. He's not one of them. Shame he never showed such concern before, especially for my mother. He made a mistake and knows that. I'm not defending him, just saying that maybe he's come to realize what he's done and what you mean to him. Oh, wonderful. I'll bear that in mind. Did you really come all the way here just to tell me that? Before I agreed to look for you, your father told me his version of events. Tell me yours. Mine? It's dull as life amidst the swamps. My earliest memories are of a drunken father lying under the stairs, caked in mud and clutching a bottle. Next dozen years, pretty much the same. Father would drink, disappear for days, then come home in a rage and send furniture flying. Thank the gods for war, I was glad every time they sent him off. And the quarrels. I remember him screaming at mum, the thuds as he beat her, then her sobbing. I'd hide under my bed and long for silence. That's the long and short of it. Multiply by 19 and there you have my life. Finally, we'd had enough, mum and me. He crossed the line and we fled. I don't mean to pry, but I know your mother had a miscarriage. His doing? He shoved her, she fell, that's how it started. We were alone, no one to help, blood everywhere. Worst night of my life. Sorry, must have been hard for you both. Mum was in shock, she was raving that it was better this way, that she never wanted the child. Must have had a fever, she was losing blood the whole time. She didn't want the child? Said she'd sooner cut open her guts than bear another child from his seed. Wojtek claims your mother had strange marks on her hands, and that a monster dragged her into the woods. Is that true? We were riding towards the river. Suddenly, Mum cried out, bent over, almost fell off her horse. I rode up to her and saw something strange. Her hands were on fire, and then that creature leapt from the woods. I don't know what it was, but it roared so fierce my nose bled. I saw it topple trees. I've never been so scared in my life. And that... that thing grabbed my mum and disappeared into the woods. I wanted to turn back, go after them, but the, the horses panicked. Now I don't even know if she's alive. What will you do now? Find my mum. You realize that might not be that easy. Don't worry, I'm not daft enough to believe I can do it alone. I've got some new friends now. Powerful friends. They'll help me. What about your father? Who? Oh, him. I don't care. I won't go back to him. That bit of my life? Forgotten it already. Who are these friends, if it's not a secret? No secret. Heard of the Church of the Eternal Fire? A priest helped me contact the Redanian witch hunters. Righteous, brave men. They'll help me. Well, well. <laughs> a witcher? Never thought the Baron would stoop to hiring a monster slayer. Though I hear you're good at tracking things down. Glad you know who I am. Haven't introduced yourself, though. Graden, witch hunter in the service of His Royal Majesty Radovid of Redania. I'm certain you've heard of us. Rings a bell. If the bloody Baron sent you to fetch his daughter, you'd best face it. You will fail in your task. I appreciate your concern. But I don't need it. As for Tamara, she can make her own decisions. Hmm. <coughs> Noble of you. A killer for hire abandoning his bounty for the good of another. The Hunters and the Church of the Eternal Fire thank you. So the Baron hired a Witcher to find his daughter. Interesting. Desperate fathers have been known to do a lot to find their daughters. Unexpected from a witcher. <coughs> I thought your mutations cleansed you of humanity. Stripped you of emotions. You don't need mutations to strip men of their humanity. I've seen plenty of examples. Where are you gonna take her? Tamara must rest. She's had a harrowing experience. When the warmth of the eternal fire has restored her strength, we shall see about finding her mother. Before you go, your father asked me to give you this. Clara? 
Father told you to give me Clara. Funny how he thought to buy me back with a memory. Tell him one gesture could never make up for a ruined childhood. So long, Witcher. In spite of all, I'm... Well, I'm grateful you gave me a choice. Didn't force me to go back to the tyrant. Hope you know what you're getting yourself into. So long, and good luck. Death on three pounds of steam. Watch your step. Greetings, Master. What can I do for you? Got a razor and shears? Good. Make me look decent. Marin, if I want to plow some peasant lass, I will. Don't give cock back no bath. I love it, yeah. Listening. What do you come to me with? Gave Tamara your gift. How'd she react? Probably not like you'd have wanted. She threw the doll away. Threw it away? Oh, God, I hoped, despite all. Oh. Oh. But what of Anna? Still don't know anything specific, but I'm on her trail. Well, will you stand there like a knob? Find her! So long. Move it! 
Where'd you come from? Whoa, whoa. This here's a toll crossing. By what right? By the right of a prick up your backside, wise ass. Pay up or stop fucking swimming. I'll cross, but I'm not gonna pay you a broken copper. Broken's what your jaw'll be once our clubs are done with it. Votmir, have it the thrifty fucker. <laughs> Show me what you got. from the barn floor. Pus streams from her snout. Do I look like a dairy maid to you? No, miss, but you know things. Tis our last cow. None other left in the village. Rest died of hunger. Or soldiers let him off. Oh, we're as good as dead without her. I shall give you herbs. Mix them with water drawn from the spring at midnight, then make the cow drink them. But first, you must clean out your barn, thoroughly. Is that clear? Thank you, miss. A thousand thanks. Enough. I've had my fill for the day. Go home. She's in a foul mood. We'd best come back on the morrow. You want home? Ordinary ointment. Nothing special. Now, where's she run off to? Powerful aura. Must be some artifact or... This is where she disappeared to. Well, well. Nice. I was 
wondering how long it would take you, Geralt. I'm upstairs. Don't be shy. Greetings, Witcher. Kira Metz deep in the heart of Velen. Thought you hated the countryside. I can assure you I do. Now more than ever. Heard a witch lived out here. Never would have guessed it was King Foltest's former advisor. I'm so pleased the world's still able to astound you, Geralt. I actually envy you that sense of wonder. Common in children, knights errant, and morons. Hmm, someone's grown irritable. Is that any way to greet an old friend? I believe I greeted you with a pleasant view. Now tell me what brings you here. So, bet you saw this question coming. What are you doing here? Let me think. Enjoying the country air? Admiring the unspoilt scenery? Or is it furthering the age-old alliance between the city and its breadbasket? No. I'm in hiding, Geralt. Blind to the state of the world? Don't you see what's happening? You mean the persecution mages now face? Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Radovid's new pastime. Pursuing anyone with a whiff of magic about them. Witch hunters. Sound familiar? Murderers scouring the north from end to end. Burning books, hanging soothsayers, torturing herbalists. Picked a strange place to hide. I didn't pick anything. In the north, Radovid's men hunt sorceresses like fish in a barrel. Nilfgaard controls the south. Where was I to flee? Emperor does keep mages on a short leash, but he lets them live and ply their trade. Radovid and Emma differ in every respect except one. They share a deep hatred of the Lodge of Sorceresses. And I was a member. So how's it feel to be the village witch? <sighs> Horrid. No joy in having the boundless respect and trust of the local peasantry? <laughs> They'd respect anyone who could produce hemorrhoid cream. Been here a while, haven't you? Long enough for rot to set in. You cannot possibly imagine how much I detest this place. Changing the subject. I'm looking for a certain young woman. Oh, really? Who? I'm looking for Siri. That Siri. And no one can know, understand? Cyrilla is here. The girl once sought by the Lodge of Sorceresses, and practically every ruler on the continent has landed here in Velen, and I know nothing of it. What is she doing here? Indications are she's hiding from someone. I heard she quarreled with a witch, but if you don't know anything... Sure you haven't seen her? I'm certain I haven't. But recently, someone asked me about an ashen-haired woman. He claimed she would stand out from the peasant crowd. Who was it? <laughs> Not so fast, Geralt. No humble plea. No offering for the witch. What's your rate these days? A couple dozen eggs? Three hens, maybe? My rate rises with every word you speak. I'm not sure you can afford the information anymore. Mm, you're pricklier than I remembered. Isn't living in nature's lap supposed to be cleansing, calming? Nature stinks. Oh, sod it. Don't give me that look. I know it's Siri we're talking about. It was an elf, this individual who asked about Cyrilla. 
No flea-bitten Scoia'tael slob either, but an elven mage. He say what his name was? He didn't. And he wore a mask. Very secretive all around, but I liked him. He was intelligent and composed. He say what he wanted with Ciri? Only that they were to meet in Velen. He wished to know if she'd arrived before he did. What was an elven mage doing in Velen? Well, I tried to ask him, of course, about everything. Of course. Oh, but you know how elves are. He asked many more questions than he answered. He leave any message for her? No, but he asked that were I to meet her, I should lead her to him. So you know where to find him? Yes, he said he found a hideout in some elven ruins near the village of Midcops. I'll go there with you. Why? Think I'll have trouble finding this place? I've unfinished business with this elf. He promised me something, but he never delivered it. Besides, I know you think as I do, that she might be there. And I'd like to see Cyrilla too. Let's go then. Yes, let's. Before? No. I was hoping the elf would return as he'd promised or else his waif would appear. At any rate, I've no idea what to expect from this place. Well, let's find out. Come on! Gavella Glan! Feast your eyes on the non-existent then. Hmm. Got a navigator with them. Uh, what? Can you teleport us to the other side? I'd rather teleport us home. Do you really mean to follow them? Teleport. Hurry up. Not sure I like any of this.
here. Something that distorts teleportation. I've no idea how they managed to get to the other side problem-free. Wild Hunt's teleportation magic is different. Got specially trained mages for that. Navigators, they call them. They can have three helmsmen and a parrot for all I care. I'll not risk that again. Let's go. Wild Hunt got a good head start on us, but we still stand a chance. Have you gone completely mad? We must leave here at once. Let's go. We might still reach the Elven Mage before they do. But what does the Hunt want from him? If that Elf has information about Ciri, or if she tried to find him, contact him even, and they sensed her... Very well, let's move on. Perhaps we'll come across some clue, some trace left by this Elf. There's no guarantee the Wild Hunt is going the right way. The Vela Glan. That's him! That's the elf! What was that? An illusion? No. A morphotic projection. Message was definitely for Ciri. Daughter of the Gull. Laura Doran's heir. Indeed. It is what the elves would title Ciri. But what was the bit about the sign of her sword? A riddle? Yeah, not a hard one, though. Not if you know Ciri named her sword Tireo. Swallow. Come now. Who aside from you would know that? Might have been the point. Your elven mage secured the passage, hid it, so that only Ciri could find it. He failed to foresee that someone like you would show up. Nevertheless, I think he was expecting uninvited guests. Made some preparations. Let's hope the Wild Hunt ran into some obstacles. Well then, let's go. Do you think following the Swallows will suffice? We'll see. An old elven horde. It must have been how they got here by sea. I wonder how long ago that was. Careful. Yellow vapor. It's toxic. I hardly need instruction from you. I recognized the Vulpine Morel immediately. Vesemir told me that soon after he'd learned to cast Igni, he tried it out on a patch of these mushrooms. Terrible. What happened? Well, he survived. And wounds heal awfully quickly. Come on.
Swallow. Seems we're headed the right way. Sol eser in Sirel, ni for the sol eser in Hey, Silla Kelpie. Kelpie? Does he mean that sea monster? No, that's what Siri named her mare. Horse could apparently gallop like a demon. Hmm, <laughs> good name for a horse. So, shall we look for it? Gavella Glan. my effort at teleportation. This... I think that's a... swallow. It works! Come! Sure it's safe. Of course. The elven mage prepared this... Gavella Glan. It's grown awfully quiet. Is that bad? A bit like the calm before a storm. I have a bad feeling about this. Tyrael not recognized. In Destroy the Be that. I knew we'd manage. That's so? What I'm going to sure find her beforehand next time. Depends what she wants. Look, we've managed to cross the bridge. This is where we saw the wild hunt. Great. Means they're way ahead of us. Come on. Gavella Glam. Wild hunt. Definitely. They destroyed the major sentries. They didn't come here for a friendly chat with the elf. Meaning you ever thought they might have? What is this? The 
white frost, mage from the hunt summoned it. Can you seal those cracks it's blowing through? They're too far. We must get closer. I shall shield us with Demetia Crest Surge. Stand at my side. Darian and I. Ready. Stay close.
Kira. What's wrong? It'll pass. That took a great deal of power. Just don't faint on me. <laughs> now, in your firm embrace, not in your life. <laughs> mm. We'll have to be able to say we can stay here a while and rest. I know. I know. We must go on. Uh, they blocked the passage. Maybe I can try. Leave it to me. without me, would you? He awaits us. This looks like the elves' laboratory. Look, the elf left another message for Siri. Lorena Luna. All right, let's watch this message. Siri, this place is no longer safe. Do not tarry here long. Trust no one. And above all, beware the witches of Crookback Bog. Try to reach the place where last we were together. Where last we were together? Not much to go on. 
damn it. Perhaps it's best he didn't leave a clearer message. The Wild Hunt broke in here. Surely they saw the projection. They searched everything. And if they had more time, they'd probably have torn the place to the ground. But that doesn't change the fact that we haven't learned anything. Not about the Elf, not about Ciri. Well, we know they were well acquainted, and traveling together. The Witches of Crookback Swamp. Crookback Bog. Kira, if you're hiding something... But... I didn't say... You know these witches? I've never met them, but I've read of them. In an old manuscript I found in one of the huts in the village. It mentions the village witches venturing into Crookback Bog at times, to liaise between the villagers and the crones, the ladies of the wood. The crones appear to be intolerant of outsiders, but they help the local folk. Apparently, they stop the spread of the plague in Bellum. Hmm. What's your take on this? I'd love to shrug it off as the nattering of so many old women, yet... Throughout my first fortnight in Velen, I had horrible nightmares. Something was calling me out into the swamps. One night, I decided to enter the dream consciously. Render it lucid. I confronted the thing directly. It broke contact at once. Peaceful nights ever since. Why didn't you say anything earlier? I told you Siri had a run-in with a witch. Well, I, I had no idea you meant then. If I'd told you something, you would have rushed off to find them. But we needed first to confirm that Siri was here, didn't we? I shall tell you everything now, of course. Now? After I safely led you through the cave? I can't believe you'd think so poorly of me. Perhaps you do bear a grudge against sorceresses. Mm-hmm. Can't imagine where that comes from. How do I find them? The swamps are vast. Dangerous. But they say the crones mark the way for peasants who wish to visit them. The manuscript mentions a chapel in Crookback Bog. And from that chapel, one must follow a trail of treats. Treats? Of course. They didn't read you bedtime stories at Kaer Morhen. All normal folk know that witches live in gingerbread houses poised atop chicken legs. I'll have to see that to believe it. Take the tome and read it. I... I truly do believe you'll find your Sorilla. All right then. As a start, let's look for a way out of here. Good idea. Why do we even come? What's this? The potion I gave him. Seems he saw a use for it. Drank it. Hmm. Mysterious mage herbalist. Must have burned these notes himself. The hunt wouldn't have bothered. Meaning he knew they were looking for him. I sensed it as well. I expected we might run into such things, so I brought this. Meaning what? The Eye of Nahalani. It dispels illusions. It's easy enough to build, so you're welcome to this one. It's bound to come in handy. And each time it does, you will think of me. Huh. Thanks. Let's see where the passage leads. Do you feel that? A flow of fresh air from the left must be an exit that way. Good. Let's get out of here. Wait, there's still the magic lamp. The magic what now? Lamp. 
The elf promised it to me in exchange for my help. And since his return here seems doubtful, I must retrieve it myself. If I can find it, that is. Will you help? Yeah, I'll help. Splendid. Come then. Gavella Glan. Looks like another damned riddle to me. Inscription here. Show me. Can you translate the inscription? I can decipher maybe a third, but that third doesn't make much sense. Give me a minute. I was never any good at the high variant of the Elder Speech. Hmm. All right. This might seem a bit literal. I'm afraid I can't replicate its sophisticated internal rhymes. Just translate it to make sense. Four guardians, four flames, standing proud in a line. The first to light his fire dared not march on the end. The second, by the first, played a woeful lament. The third kept close to his faithful beast. The fourth marched not beside the first, yet, like the second, played a tune. And thus they stood o'er their queen, who slept beneath flickering stars. Hmm. <laughs> Sounds like a riddle, all right. All right. Let's see if we can solve this. Wait. Something just happened. Mm -hmm. Behind that wall, a movement. What? Whose grave is it? What do you think? No inscription, sadly. Hmm. Sign of the gull. If I didn't already know where she was buried, I'd guess this is Laura Doran's sepulchre. Perhaps it's a monument to her. Can't see the elves commemorating her this way. Heroine of a tragic legend to some, but most see her as a traitor to her race, who got her just desserts for marrying Kragenin of Laud. Perhaps the elven mage is Lara's kin. It would explain why he's helping Ciri. Possible. This what you're looking for? Uh-huh. So what's it supposed to do? Let's leave this place, shall we? Ugh, anything for a hot bath. We're going. You learned something about Ciri in the end. Something important. Do you intend to venture into Crookback Bog? You must tell me about it afterwards. Don't know that I'll get the chance. Geralt, there are two types of men. Those who see opportunity and take advantage, and those who forge the opportunities themselves. I've always seen you as an example of the latter. Besides, I've a favor to ask you. So, Visit me sometime? I'll stop by. You can be sure. In that case, I shall be waiting. See ya, Kira.
rats, why did he need them? Bloody rodents. Better to have stuffed them. Kira, what are you doing? Geralt. <laughs> you gave me quite a start. But nay, the mage says bring me rats and healthy ones. Not something the cat dragged in. This the lamp from the elf's hideout? And what's this about rats? Nothing important. I'll explain later. Now tell me, to what do I owe the pleasure? Mentioned you wanted something from me. I did, and still do. The cursed isle on Lake Windama, you've heard of it, I'm sure. The local peasants mumble incessantly about it, about the wraiths that haunt it. They claim none who go there return. How did it come to be cursed? That's what I don't know. I must break this spell, yet I've been unable to identify its source. Gotta know something. Scraps. The curse is somehow linked to the tower where Serard, the lord of these lands, took refuge when Nilfgaard invaded. Claims in the village are that peasants, desperate of hunger, sailed to Fike Isle to beg for food. Met their end there. It was a massacre. So, will you please help me lift this curse? You're so good at these things. All right, I'll help. I knew you'd find it irresistible. Naturally, you'll need to sail to Fike Isle. Fine. What then? Well, the spirits who wander the Isle, you must establish a rapport with them. Don't know how. But they could point us in the direction of the curse's source. Think they'll be willing to chat? Of course. Provided you take my magic lamp with you. I shall let you keep it afterwards in appreciation. You'll find it quite useful, I'm sure. How's the lamp actually work? I mean, do I just rub it, or do I have to do something, um, magical? <laughs> you needn't even rub. Just place it where you find bones and hear whispers. Um, I suppose I should warn you. It might not be the most pleasant experience. Figured as much. Tell you all about it later. Maybe skip the drastic bits. You'll need to do neither. I'll give you a Xenovox. It's a bauble that will let us speak over some distance. You will tell me what you see, and I shall tell you what to do and look for. I need to know anything else before I go? No, that is all. Oh, go already. I can't wait to see what you discover on Phi Kyle. Just be sure to come and see me afterwards. And... Geralt. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Master. Almost there. Splendid. 
I shall contact you again soon. Wait, this Xenovox. Can I contact you with it or is it one way? One way only, I'm afraid. You'll have to trust my feminine intuition. Your what? My feminine intuition. Wonderful. Where's that noble? Where's that noble? Lying here, quiet as a mouse. Head split open like a rotted pumpkin. More like a peasant now. Sloshing around in his own blood and shite. be nothing noble about him. Too quick a death they gave him. Should have been made to suffer. He's not the end of it. Sons can suffer for him. And the daughter. To the top! Don't start, Annabelle. Back to your craft. Always bending my ear about fool peasants. I'm not hearing them again. That simpleton turned your head. But one Graham hardly makes the rest courtly, one and all. My lord, peasants! They're through the door in the tower. Gold! Piles of it! Oh, won't do the dead any good now, will it? Stranger is still here. The noble died a time ago. Who's that? Show yourself. Anyone there? Who? Who are you? here that looks like a laboratory. Then you've not reached the highest level. Look for a passage.
Why did you leave? You claimed to love me. I'm cold. Why has no one come for me? I cannot leave this place. I see no way out. Who are you? Do you seek to hurt me as well? I'm a witcher. I want to lift the curse that grips this island. Your turn to tell me who you are. The other ghosts, they couldn't see me. I'm special. Always was. The rare beauty. The Lord's daughter. These lands, as far as the eye can see, were ours. My family and I were hid in the Mage's Tower to await the war's end, the end of hard times. It was not to be forever. Tell me what happened here. Peasants sailed to the island to ask for food. Is that true? No! They came to rob and kill! They thought us rich, believed we'd stowed ourselves away here to laugh at their misery. Yet we had little food as well. Too little to share with those who came. They slaughtered everyone. I heard my father cry out, but the mage told me not to reveal myself or let anyone in. He gave me a potion. If I was discovered, I was to drink it. He said everything would be all right. What happened then? Fear. Terrible fear. I feared the men who approached, but I also feared the potion drinking it. Didn't trust the mage? In the village, they claimed he meddled in disease. Not curing it, but causing it. They said he lured rats into the tower, infected them with the Catriona. Only rumors, surely, but I was afraid. So horribly afraid. And then I heard him. My beloved Graham. He called to me. I opened the door for him, but others rushed in. They lunged at me and... and... Did they hurt you? They gripped my arms. Tore at my dress. I managed to free myself and drink the potion, and then... Nothing. Poisoned? That how you died? No. For I later awoke. I was alone, it was dark. Only there were rats. Everywhere. Dozens. Hundreds. And I... Couldn't move. Sleeping potion. Effects hadn't worn off yet. You were paralyzed. They were everywhere. All over me, like insects. My face, my hands. I felt them rip open my skin, then crawl into my stomach. They tore me apart, and I could not even scream. Have I not suffered enough? Why can't I leave this place? How can I help you? A curse born of hatred binds me to this place. Only love's power can hope to lift it. But who could love a race? And your beloved, he dead too? Graham. No, he lives. I would know if he died. But he fled and abandoned me. Left me here all alone. Maybe you could strip the curse of its power by forgiving him. You might cleanse the isle. As I see it, you're the curse's focus. The other ghosts on the island, their auras aren't nearly as strong as yours. My medallion started pulsating as soon as we started talking. I don't know what you mean, but you do seem to know some things. You could be right. My fate is tied to the Isle, I feel that. Perhaps because I am heiress of these lands. It could be your blood ties to the land, the base of the curse that is. If so, forgiving Graham, laying your resentment to rest should lift it. I loved him. I'm prepared to forgive him. But I must know that he regrets what he did. Take my bones to him. He must bury them. This will be our farewell. Will you speak to him? Will you do this for me? Fine. I'll talk to Graham. Where will I find him? 
He lives in the village on the lake shore, y yet? What if he's forgotten me? If he loved you, he'll remember, and want to help. He said he would always love me. Go to him. Make haste, please. Experimenting on humans. Never would have gotten away with it if the Conclave were still in charge. in there until the end. What a shitty way to die. Rich folk. Doubt I'll ever understand them. Keeping rats in cages like rabbits. Let them out, maybe. Like to die of hunger if we leave them there. I'd sooner burn the vermin. Releasing them's not like to bring no good. Imagine the harm they'd do if they swam back to the village. Swam? Rats? How do you figure they'd do that? You needn't fret for them. Clever little bastards. Clever in you. Hmm. They seem sluggish to you. Got the mange, maybe? Oh, and that stench!
this be the witch man? Think of nature. <laughs> more interest. I wanna talk. You deaf dammit, I told you. Who are you? I'm a witcher. What of it? Why should I care? I've been to the island. I know what happened there. What do you want of me? Want to talk to you about Annabelle. Annabelle? What can you know about her? I met her. Talked to her. Annabelle's dead. Drank poison. And I... I couldn't save her. What happened on Fike Isle? You gotta tell me. It were Millie, Finch and Faulkner. They rallied the men, all roughs, to go to the Isle, take back what was ours from the noob. They knew I was known at the tower, that the Lord's servants would open the gate for me as soon as I sold them fish. They forced you to go with them? No, I... I saw my chance in it. For Annabelle and me to flee. But... It all spun in a chaos. Our boys from the village, they started killing everyone. Annabelle, they wanted to rape! First, then she drank the poison. The mage must have gave her. I ran out the tower hollering that I wanted to die, cursing them all to hell. Don't force me to speak of it. No more, please. It wasn't poison. Annabelle drank a strong sleeping potion. Mage wanted to protect her, make it look like she was dead. Convinced everyone. But that means... Is she... You said you spoke to her. Spoke to her ghost. By the time she awoke, tower was full of cold corpses. And rats. She was warm meat. Rats ate her alive. She was alive the whole time. But... I can't be. She was cold all through like a corpse. I shook her, begged her, open your eyes. I never thought... Annabelle needs you. Her soul will only find peace if you help her. But what can I do? It's too late. Bury her bones. Annabelle should be laid to rest by one who loved her. It's the only way to lift the curse that holds Fike Isle. Those are her bones? Yes. Give them here. Leave me be. Cursed us. What are you doing here? What? This sun flying from the moon? We're making offerings to the All God, clearly. You too can seek his aid. That's if you got fit in offerings. He scorned ours, then cursed the old village. So, what's wrong with your offerings? You needn't mark us. You can see right well we brought scraps. Before the war, I wouldn't give this such to me elms. Can we do? Such are the times, and they're like to get worse. All God said, if he don't get a rafter of bacon and a barrel of beer at least, the rivers will fill up with frogs and lotusks or some such will devour the harvest. I could intercede on your behalf with this All God of yours. Got a feeling we'd come to an understanding. Well, I suppose it can't hurt to try. To speak with him, 
need to stand afore the altar and cry out, Oh God, help a poor wretch in need. Who knows, he might just listen to a foreigner. An illusion. What? Who dares disturb my divine being? Geralt of Rivia. Pleasure. Huh. <laughs> Expected the All-God to be corporeal in form, but never thought he'd be... corpulent. Fattened up nicely at those peasants' expense. Expense? Expense? Not a word about the help I give in return. Blessings, absolutions, enlightened advice. Believe me, these folks need all of it. I'd wash over them still if they fulfilled their end. But lately, they offer these pathetic scraps. That they steal from the mouths of their children. And to make matters worse, you cast a curse on them. And I'll not lift it till they bring me worthy offerings. I'm to settle for curves and whey. Not a chance. And you can tell them that. Got an idea how to resolve this. I'll just kill you. Damn it. Anything new? Got good news. Your god's dead. It was actually a run-of-the-mill monster. Sentient, but mean. Took advantage of you. You went hungry, while it grew new chins. What have you done? The old god warned us. Said if he ever departed, death would await us all. Come on, Tribor. We must tell the others. Only group prayer can save us now. Just when I was starting to miss you. Fike Isle's free of its curse. And you withheld this news until now? Why? I gave you a Xenovox. But the curse, what was its source? The dark spell clung to the spirit of Annabelle, the Lord's daughter. To free her and the Isle, Graham, her beloved, had to help me. So it ended well. Mm. I lifted the curse so the island's clear. Annabelle's soul is free. Thing is... Turned out she's a pesta. Graham's dead. And you fail to notice. You're losing your touch. Be that as it may, Fike Isle is free of its curse. That's important. I'm almost inclined to say good work. The lamp. What do you want to do with it? As I said, you may keep it. I don't believe I shall need it anymore given the Isle's been cleansed. I actually regret not going there with you. Perhaps we can make up for that lost time now. One thing's bothering me. What? Annabelle said Alexander was studying diseases. She mentioned Catriona. You knew this? All the mages knew about it. Alexander was a highly regarded epidemiologist. I would have given anything for an opportunity to study his notes, but he guarded them jealously. All right. Time I was on my way. Perhaps... 
Perhaps you'd stay just a bit longer? There's one small favor you might yet do for me. What is it? I put in an order for a few substances from Novigrad. The trader was due to be here yesterday, but has yet to arrive. Could you see what happened? The package is rather important to me. Why not? If he was coming here from Novigrad, he must have passed through Black Bell. I'll check the area. Thank you. I shall be ever so grateful. Ask a service of the Witcher, the Palamost. A witcherly service, that's to say. What do you need? Tell me. A man who fears no evil the Pella needs. Forefather's Eve is nigh. We've rites to conduct. Wandering souls to emerge. Damned souls, too. We've the circle to protect from these wretches. Seems like you could use a Witcher. So yeah, I'll help. You'd not refuse. The Pella knew. The time's come to gather the folk. Across the lake we must journey to Fike Isle. There, in the circle of stones, we shall meet. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight, at midnight. wagon. Velen alone. No way that was gonna Left end well. Overs. Cuts of meat. Cut of weapons. Wonder what spell requires that. Package still intact. Don't sense anything magic though. Wonder how Kira will explain this one. starting to miss you. Got those, uh, substances you wanted? Splendid. I can finally begin my study of double arboreal racination patterns, but first I'll... Brew yourself a mug of mulled wine? Saw what the wagon was carrying. Exquisite meats, expensive wines, Zeracanian spices. Not a speck of magic. Care to tell me what you're up to? I would rather show you, but you must wait a bit. Color me intrigued. Fine, I'll wait. <laughs> then shoo, outside. Gonna slip into something more comfortable? Later. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Well, go on, out. You've been patient, thank you. It's almost ready. Huh? If I wanted to see white mice, I'd just get drunk. Note that I said almost. Now don't interrupt. 
Third mouse, what happened to it? The spell has a 66.67% chance of success. I always use one more than I need, just in case. So where did... Kira, can I explain what's going on here? Know the fairy tale about Cinderella? Mm-hmm. True story it's based on, too. A zoogle cropped up in a palace pond and ate Princess Cinderella whole. Left behind one slipper, so... I beg you, not another word about zoogles. Now, to return to the fairy tale, I'd like to escape these ghastly swamps for one magical night. I don't need a fairy godmother, I'll cast the spells myself. But I could use a Prince Charming. It just so happens you're the only decent candidate in all Velen. So, what do you say to a moonlight ride on horseback? And dinner? Sounds tempting. So tempting, I don't think I can refuse. Before we go, there's one more thing. Gotta transform a pumpkin into a carriage? No. I shall transform our rancid rags into something more glamorous. Don't wince. It'll only be an illusion, won't hurt a bit. And at dawn, everything will return to normal. Why not? Might as well go all out. Then hold on tight. Gavella Glan. So, what do you think? Neckline too modest? It's just right. Oh, I might also have changed your hair colour while I was at it. I've always fancied dark-haired men. Oh well, any port in a storm. Well, off we go. Dinner's waiting. Last one there does the dishes. Giddy up. Congratulations. You'd make an excellent jockey. If only I were a foot shorter and five stone lighter. Well, yes. But then I'd not have invited you here. Now do you see why I needed those substances? Beef and cinnamon and cloves, roasted capon with shallots. It was worth the trouble. Shall I pour the white or the... Dry red. But let it breathe a little first. Well, well, never took you for a wine connoisseur. Think witchers suck the marrow out of drowner bones and wash it down with puddle water? More or less. Well, we've chatted long enough on empty stomachs. Let's dig in. Must have cost you a small fortune. Sure you don't need me to pitch in? Please, I manage. You know, a dozen eggs here, a cock or gander there. Besides, my finances are about to improve. How, if you don't mind my asking? I mean, you'd think the only work to be had in Velen would be in farming. <laughs> Very true. So, I have two options. I can either start cultivating turnips or... leave. But that's not what I wish to discuss. Thank you once again, Geralt, for your help with the tower. You were fabulous. Not the first curse I've lifted. But among the most difficult, correct? What happened on that island? Why I shiver at the thought. And the laboratory. I sincerely hope you burnt everything. The cages, the corpses, the papers. All right. Let's get down to business. What are you talking about? Sex. 
That's why we're here, isn't it? Oh. You may know about wine, but you remain quite unsophisticated otherwise. That's very good, because boars are much better in bed. Now, close your eyes and count to ten. One, two, three, four. All right, that's enough. Kira, want to play hide and seek? Why not? A skirt? Guess we're playing hunt the hare, not hide and seek. Good. Won't have to fumble with fasteners. Hmm. Shame. Could have kept her shoes on. Now where's that Cinderella gone to? Congratulations. Do I get a prize? I have nothing on me. But I'll think of something. Call that constellation in Zeracania? Dragon something, I bet. <laughs> no, it has a different name. A bit indecent, actually. Lean closer and I'll whisper it in your ear. Egfain Navi. with a spell means she's up to something. <sighs> Fike Isle, the tower. Light. Top floor of the tower. <laughs> so 
So, found what you were looking for? Yes, thanks for asking. How are you feeling? Sleep well? What do you want with those papers? Why, I aim to use them to continue important work that a man's tragic death put on hold. Alexander was studying the Catriona Plague. I'll use his notes to produce medication, perhaps a cure, or at least a vaccine. Mm -hmm. Strictly humanitarian motivations, is that it? No, nope, strictly selfish ones. The mighty would pay willingly for such a remedy. Can you imagine how much? Take Radovid, for instance. Why, he might even consider forgetting my past associations with the Lodge. You're either incredibly gullible, or you're trying to play me again. Whatever do you mean? Radovid has one objective. To defeat Emir. Curing Catriona, stopping the plague, won't help him do that. So he'll either burn you at the stake with those notes among the kindling, or he'll make you use them to create a weapon. Don't be ridiculous. Bacteria cannot be controlled. Not yet. But it's possible in theory, isn't it? In theory, it's just as possible for a Dachshund to impregnate a she-wolf. I don't have time to debate this, Geralt. I'm going to see Radovid, whether you like it or not. It's your conscience. But you do know hundreds, thousands could die. What of it? What difference will it make if Nilfgaard's legions die by steel or because of some fucking germs? None. A plague can go wrong, go wild. A sword won't. That's the difference. Shut up for a moment and look at me. See this? Bedbugs, Geralt. Bloody bedbugs. I, Kira Metz, advisor to Foltest, a member of the Lodge of Sorceresses, have bedbugs. Think what you will, but I'll not stay in this bloody swamp one day more. Not one day. I shall cross the Pontar, and that means Radovid's men will find me sooner or later. Don't you understand? I don't have a choice. I will have to parley. Got another option. Go to Kaer Morhen. You believe I'd be safe there? Long as you don't piss Lambert off, yes. Amir, Radovid, neither will be able to reach you. Find little in the way of luxury there, but we do have clean sheets. It's a long way, well beyond the dividing line. But if I keep to the woods until I reach the Kestrel Mountains, I should pass through unnoticed. So be it. Seems I find it hard to refuse you, handsome. You've clearly a notion of what women want, how they think. So, see you at Caramoran? Beds free of bedbugs, mostly. <laughs> I long to be there already. See you, Geralt.